Third day of the Novena to the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thou of all consolers best, visiting the troubled breast, dost refreshing peace bestow. Meditation, the gift of piety. The gift of piety begets in our hearts a filial affection for God as our most loving Father. It inspires us to love and respect persons for His sake and things consecrated to Him, as well as those who are vested with His authority, His Blessed Mother and the Saints, the Church and its visible head, our parents our superiors, our country and its rulers. He who is filled with the gift of piety finds the practice of his religion not a burdensome duty, but a delightful service. Where there is love, there is no labor. Let us pray. Come, O blessed spirit of piety, possess my heart. Enkindle therein such a love for God that I may find satisfaction only in His service, and for His sake lovingly submit to all legitimate authority. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Act of Consecration to the Holy Spirit On my knees, before the great multitude of heavenly witnesses, I offer myself, soul, and body to you, eternal Spirit of God. I adore the brightness of your purity, the unerring kingness of your justice, and the might of your love. You are the strength and light of my soul. In you I live and move and am. I desire never to grieve you by unfaithfulness to grace. And I pray with all my heart to be kept from the smallest sin against you. Mercifully, guard my every thought, and grant that I may always watch for your light, and listen to your voice, and follow your gracious inspirations. I cling to you and give myself to you, and ask you, by your compassion, to watch over me in my weakness. Holding the pierced feet of Jesus, and looking at his five wounds, and trusting in his precious blood, in adoring his open side and stricken heart. I implore you, adorable spirit, helper of my infirmity, to keep me in your grace, that I may never sin against you. Give me grace, O Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Father and the Son, to say to you always and everywhere, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. Prayer for the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. O Lord Jesus Christ, who before ascending into heaven did promise to send the Holy Spirit to finish your work in the souls of your apostles and disciples, 
deigned to grant me the same Holy Spirit, that He may perfect in my soul the work of your grace and your love. Grant me the spirit of wisdom that I may despise the perishable things of this world and aspire only after the things that are eternal. The spirit of understanding to enlighten my mind with the light of your divine truth. The spirit of counsel that I may ever choose the surest way of pleasing God and gaining heaven. The spirit of fortitude that I may bear my cross with you and that I may overcome with courage all the obstacles that oppose my salvation. The spirit of knowledge that I may know God and know myself and grow perfect in the science of the saints. The spirit of piety that I may find the service of God sweet and amiable. And the spirit of fear that I may be filled with a loving reverence towards God and may dread in any way displease Him. Mark me, dear Lord, with the sign of your true disciples and animate me in all things with your Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Spirit, beloved of my soul,